here's an example of the Boolean difference uh, function. So here we're going to create uh, we're going to create a square, which is just like a, we pretend this is like letter one, and we'll create another square. This one will be letter two, and we want to weld the two, uh, but we only want the left half of the second letter, and we want the right piece to be chopped off. So what we're going to do um, is we're going to uh, duplicate uh, just so we have them on a different layer. So we're going to take our selection tool, and select both of them, and duplicate this, and then we'll move it to a different layer. And I'm going to just hide the uh, hide the first layer here, so that we're only working on the duplicated one. Um, you don't have to do this, but uh, it, it helps so that you don't accidentally delete your original tools, uh, your original items. Anyways. So we're going to go to the tools menu, click Boolean difference, and what this is going to do is going to select the difference between the two items. Uh, now this works kind of, it depends how you selected things. Uh, it has to do with like uh, which one was selected first. So if we want to do it the, the other way, so like if you collect, select the first one and then the second one, and go Boolean difference, you're going to result in the difference between the two pieces. So what you can do now, um, so let's go back to the first scenario. We're going to select this letter, or this box, and then this box. We're going to go Boolean difference. And then we're, they're grouped automatically, so we're going to ungroup these. And we're going to delete this one. And then we're going to uh, pull up pull up, show our original stuff and we're going to delete the difference one from our original and then we can take our line that we the new one that we created move it back to the layer so now we have a, a shape without the overlapping part and now we can select both and you can weld them now you end up with the original shape welded together without the overlap. Hope that helps.